Murdoch's whistle. Plate layers were inspecting the track on the main line. They checked the rails for signs of wear and replaced ballast where needed. It was imperative that the engines whistle to tell the men to clear the line. <laughs> One morning, Gordon arrived at Edwards Station, looking rather annoyed. <laughs> is there a problem, Gordon? asked Boko. <laughs> there is something to be said, Gordon replied, for quiet engines like you, Boko. I understand that we must whistle for the plate layers, but some of it is most excessive. Mm. It isn't wrong, of course, but Gordon's uh, speech oh. was interrupted by a booming whistle in the distance. It grew longer and louder, and soon Murdoch streaked through with a heavy goods. Oh, oh I risked my case, mm. Gordon harumphed. <laughs> Later, Boko found Murdoch resting in the sheds. If you've come to complain about my whistle, snapped Murdoch, I've heard quite enough from Gordon already. I'm not complaining. I'm concerned, Boko interjected. I've never heard you make such a racket. Thus blasted new driver seems to think my whistle's a toy. Blows it at any chance he gets. Too long and much too loud. Murdoch shuddered. I tell him to stop, but he only laughs. I'm sorry for raising my voice. Mm, I quite understand, murmured Boko. In my experience, new drivers tend to learn their lessons rather quickly. <laughs> Well, it can happen quickly enough, sighed Murdoch. <laughs>